for the video. In this video, we'll show you how to scan a QR code with Titan and push data or even read data from Salesforce. In this video, I've got two random QR codes I found from the internet. In fact, I've got a few here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screenshot of them, upload them, and show you how Titan scans them for you. So what we need is first in it is an image. So I show you like um, what it actually looks like when um, we go ahead and upload these. Let me just make this a bit bigger, like this. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to get my file upload field. So first thing we're going to do, we're just going to say add a QR code here. And then we're going to say this is FLD66. So we'll say go ahead and preview that image on FLD66. Then I'm going to get a hidden field. And this is what's going to show us the magic. All right. So I'll get two of these here. First one is going to be the QR code value. And then the second one is going to be the QR code type. Or we can just say code type. And what you need to do is simply click on your file upload field, which is the scanner. Go to advanced, check scan barcode, map value to QR code value, and then type goes to code type. That's all you really have to do. Now let's just uh, test this and uh, put it into some play here. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and upload this and uh, get up the form. Here's the form. Let's go in here. And what I'm going to do is just take a simple screenshot of this card here. Done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and upload it. So if I go to, here's my screenshot, upload it, here it is. And now you can see that we have read the value of that code like this. And then if I put it in here, it's going to take me to Emily, which is which is a contact for that QR code. And uh, let's do another test. So this time we can take Carol Bryant's here for the home finders. Just going to screenshot that. It's done. And then we'll simply just go in here and then take that screenshot. Here it is. And there's your value. All right. Done it very, very quickly. And then I can just take this value and again, same thing, just uh, chuck it in here and it will take me to that business page like that. So really is that simple and QR codes are officially supported as well. So, and you can see that the QR code type is QR code. It will also recognize what type it is and then it will give you the value as well. So yeah, this is how it's done. Maybe we can do a one final one. Let's take this one here. So let's take that one and then chuck it in here. Let's go back to here. Here it is. And then it's going to go ahead and read the value again. And there you go. There's your value. Okay. Ted Williams. Even though it was um, it's a bit like grainy, the picture, but we found it. And then if we chuck it in here, it's going to take us to William Taylor. Super, super simple and easy to do. <clears throat> All you have to do is set up your, um, your field, which is the file upload field. Enable scan barcode. Make sure your hidden field is set for the value and the type. And then you can even do allow capture. So if you have a mobile phone, you can switch on camera. And then when you go to click... Uh, so what you would need to do is just click on this field here, the file upload, on your form, which will prompt your camera. And from the camera, you can take a picture of the scan, sorry, the barcode itself or the QR code and simply upload it. Once you upload it, we will give you the value. And uh, this is how it's done. Very, very simple.